Hello YouTube, this is Ambi. Today we will talk about another Python topic and that will be Jupyter Notebook. Now, Jupyter Notebook is the one that we will use uh, for talking about this thing. Right, okay, I'm gonna delete this. I will create a new one. Python 3.6 Iterators and generators in sharp print return yield. So let's check out what the hell are they. Um, print, we already know, prints out stuff, return error. What does it say? Return outside function yield. Yield is outside function. So uh, this much is very clear. Yield and return are meant to be used inside a function. We do not have any confusion on that, I suppose, I hope. Now, uh, let's define a function. Define display numbers. For num in numbers print. No, I will do return. No. Uh, well, first let's do the easy one. Print uh, num, right? And and we will say uh, display range of sticks, right? And hit enter. What happens? Okay, for a display in I misspell something here. For number in numbers, print m. Range six, display six. What does it say? The num is not defined. Oops. Okay. Num. <laughs> okay. I'm not num. Okay. It's uh, num. Uh, zero to one to three four five. Uh, let's me let me do the five here. So it's printing out all the five numbers. The first five numbers zero one two three four. That is all awesome, right? Let us replace this with return and see what happens. It prints out just the first number. That's it. Uh, that is zero. What if I do yield? Nothing happens. I will say a equals this and a nothing happens. Oh, I want to see what the hell is that? Oh, it's, that's a generator. So how should I print that out? Next. A. Right. Type. Okay. Oops. I'm just saying type. So print. All right. So okay. So that's is also behaving like a return. Uh, let me do this again. Okay. That is different. It's printing the next number now. Hmm. That is printing the next number. Next number. Okay, since we have reached the end, it says stop iteration. So the difference between print is print prints out everything, right? Everything. Return prints out the first step. That is, uh, it does the same thing as a print, but does the first, it, it does it first time and after that it stops. Whereas yield um, prints out the first step. It does uh, the same thing what return did. And it forgets it. The next time when you call it, it does the same thing what return did. Uh, that is, it prints out the uh, number one and forgets it. Uh, and then you call uh, it again, it prints out two uh, and forgets uh, print, um, number two, prints out number three when you call it again, uh, forgets number three, it prints out uh, again of you know, the first number, that is the four, because it has forgotten zero, one, two, three, L. Uh, all of them, right? So it is kind of a very interesting behavior and also very inter uh, no, uh, awesome and useful behavior. So what is an iterator? An iterator is something where uh, you can iterate or that wherever you say for num in numbers. So numbers is an, it an iterable object and num, uh, no, you are iterating through it. If you 
uh, generator is uh, something where it generates a number uh, it generates a number okay it's not a list of numbers a number uh, delivers it to you forgets about it and sleeps you call it again uh, you it generates the next number uh, that is a uh, one two uh, three whatever depending on how many times you're calling and uh, sleeps again uh, for, uh, delivers a number or gets a number sleeps again so let's uh, take an example um, again right so instead of uh, printing this what, what if I did here uh, so 0 1 2 3 4 and if I had done one more time it would have given me that error let me delete all this. DD, 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 DD. Okay, when I'm saying DD, that means I'm pressing D twice. Okay, that's what I meant by DD. Now, um, uh, just to summarize, yield is a generator. A generator won't run the entire body of the code, but only till they hit the first point or item in the list, and when they do, they return it, forget about it, and stop. Generators are a kind of iterators, but you can see you can use each item in them only once, and once you do, they are forgotten. Generators, unlike iterators, do not create and store all values in memory, but they generate when they are needed on the fly, right? So let us look at another example. Define num n enter for i in range n return i i would say nums 5 okay i'm going to say right what happened okay all right so it returned just the 5 so that was expected. Hmm. Now, what I will do here is we'll copy the whole thing, paste it here, instead of return, we'll say yield i. Okay, it does nothing. So, what I will do is copy, I'm going to say list end. Right. So, uh, you see the difference here? Uh, I did this. It generated only the first number. Uh, so it, when I say uh, list, okay, instead of giving me the first number, just give me the whole damn list, right? Now this is this. Okay, our, I'll make it even. Kind of simple for you here, right? Uh, and I'm going to say type. A, it is still a generator, right? So now I will do what I will do here is A mm, equals list of A, enter, type, invalid syntax. Okay, now I want to confuse you. Okay. Right, so it is a list. Uh, well, that should work as well. So you see the difference between a uh, list and uh, an integer here. So if I had just this, that is a generator. I'll do Control Z. Now I have converted this A into a list, right? So uh, you might uh, wonder, so what is the use of this uh, generator? It's giving me one number at a time. It gives me one number, forgets about it. And when I call it again, it gives me the next number. Well, it will be very useful. Imagine a situation where uh, you are doing some data analysis or, and in that uh, process, you have to generate a huge uh, list or you have to work with the list. Uh, if you generate a list and then if you want to go through each of the number, uh, let's say uh, there are 100 items in that list and each item takes one megabytes of memory, one MB of memory. So when you generate a list, it takes 100 MB of memory. 
and then when you you have to go through each of the item uh okay get the first item do something with it get the second item do something with it whereas if you go for a yield that is generator it will not generate the entire list so it will gen generate only the first it, uh, item and hands it over to you that means it is it has used only one mb one megabyte against 100 mb that is a huge a huge advantage especially uh, if you're dealing with applications uh, which do uh, in memory analysis of data in memory processing of data uh, that is something which is going on a lot especially uh, sap uh, hana if you have dealt with that you will know but that is where uh, yield comes in but i know it's it's kind of confusing i would uh, i recommend you to uh, go through it uh, go through this video before times i will summarize again return runs once and stops yield runs as many times as you have planned uh, planned till it hits the uh, the end point so in short print uh, print gives all of the values and remembers them right uh, whereas um, return gives the first value and remembers them yield gives them one at a time as and when you ask and forgets them after it delivers a list is an uh, iterable uh, iterable which you can reuse a generator is an iterable which you can use once you can use once that's it next time when a function with yield is called it continues from where it left right uh if uh I mean, if you can't remember what I'm saying, you will definitely be able to uh, see what uh, see my notes. I will uh, hand over you know a much elaborate version of this IPython notebook. Uh, go to my site cloudishes.com, and there you will find my other notes as well. Thank you for tuning in, and you have a great one. Take care.